a friend of mine used to say that Great Britain is an 11th hour nation and we tend to rally at about a quarter to 12. Well, Britain is most certainly rallying. And as I stand before you today at Camelot Castle with the birthplace of King Arthur, the once and future king, behind me here on Tintagel Island, and with the sun just dropping down below Atlantic. I have to say I've never been more excited about the rebirth of Great Britain and about the birth of a new political party. New political parties don't occur in Great Britain very often. It's something that happens about once every two or three generations. The last time it happened was the demise of the Whig Party and the emergence of the Labour Party. Since that time, those two parties, the Labour Party and the Conservative Party, have dominated British politics. But the days of the Conservatives are now done and they will pass into total irrelevancy. I think it's fair to say that we will not see a Conservative Party in government again in our lifetimes. But something new is happening and there is a new sane approach and there's a new leader. What I can tell you is this, Nigel Farage is sane. If the facts change, he changes his mind. If situations change, he changes his mind. And he does what is in the best interest of this country. So take the time to really take a look at what he's saying. I'm personally not of the opinion that there is no chance at all that Nigel could be Prime Minister on July the 5th. I think everything's possible. And if you look at our history, there have been several occasions where the British electorate have done extraordinary things. Churchill, for instance, was not re-elected at the end of the Second World War after having brought this country through the war and, and led us to victory. The British public had other plans. Margaret Thatcher's victory was extraordinary. Tony Blair's victory was extraordinary. Even Boris's majority was an extraordinary shift. Something is happening out there. Something very, very special indeed. And all I would ask you is this, is to seize upon this 11th hour. And if it requires us again to rally at a quarter to 12, then for God's sake, let's rally. All the very best here from Camelot Castle, from the birthplace of King Arthur. I just wonder if King Arthur is arousing from his slumber to smile again on the future of the United Kingdom.